The Denver Nuggets are this year's NBA champions. And usually when you win a championship, players are letting it soak in, being with their families, even getting a little emotional. And what did Nikola Jokic do? None of that. This man was a stone phase killer. After the Nuggets won their first NBA championship, Jokic looked less than enthused to be there. And when I was watching it live, I was actually texting my brother and my friends being like, this man is taking the act like you've been there before to a whole new level. It feels like when he was on the court, there was it wasn't like one time that he was smiling or laughing or enjoying the situation. My boy was there to win, get the job done, and go back to Serbia to his horses. And literally the first interview we did after winning the championship was this one. Now you are an NBA champion, Nicola. How does that feel? It's good. It's good. If the job is done, we can go home now. My man was so ready to go home. Like so much so that he was disgusted with the fact that he needed to stay in Denver for one more second for the parade. And if you're looking forward to a parade coming up in Denver. When is parade? When is parade? Thursday. No. <laughs> I need to go home. I'm a... <laughs> okay. Uh... I can't even lie to you. I absolutely love this. It made me laugh just seeing because it's just such a different reaction. Like, look at what Kevin Garnett did when he was like, anything's possible. And then Nicole Yoko just walk around like, you know, where do I go from here? I want to go home. Everyone talks about how they want their athletes being laser focused on the goal of winning a championship. And Jokic really did that, but in his own way. Obviously, I'm being a little tongue in cheek with the fact that he hates winning because all this man cares about is getting his championship and go home to his home. Horses. In fact, the reason why he didn't want to stay for the parade was because one of his horses is racing back in Serbia. Week or two look like for you now. You got a parade coming up here on Thursday. Yes. How soon till you're back in Sunday? I need to. On Sundays, I have my horse racing. In my horse race. racing. Horse racing. Horse racing. <laughs> I was going to get to that. The horse we'll racing. That. Maybe. I don't know how we're going to arrive. Thursday parade. Friday maybe. Would you make I, it? I don't know. I'm going to ask Josh to. Give me a, give me a, give me a plane. And if you couldn't tell by this point, Jokic really loves horses. And reportedly, his father had to convince Jokic to focus on basketball because Nikola wanted to be a horseman instead of a basketball player. And his father said he started growing both in height and size, and he started being aware that he could become a basketball player. But he had a great desire in those days. He would say, Dad, I want to be a horseman. And I would tell him, son, become a basketball player first, and you'll become a great horseman later. Later. And Jokic likes horses so much that he started developing friendships with different harness racers. And one of them is Hall of Fame New Jersey harness racer Tim Tedrick. And he said that the five-time All-Star would come visit him and go to local stables when the team plays on the East Coast. And within one of the stories, he said that he made Nuggets players wait three hours while he worked with the horses and Tedrick. And reportedly, the NBA star was texting Tim shortly before game three of this year NBA Finals to check in about the horse races. And the trainer told them, you got a game in 30 minutes. Worry about the game. He's a down-to-earth kind of dude. Low-key, Tedrick said. You wouldn't know that he gets paid $40 million a year to play basketball. He just shows up with sweats to the barn. They get his training suit and jumps in and loves just hanging out. And the funniest part about all of this was that Jokic acted like this is something that he does every day. Social media could not believe that he was acting like it was a regular season game. And one guy even said that he was treating the NBA like his 9-to-5 job. His demeanor was so bizarre yet lovable like it was really kind of interesting and to reinforce that bizarreness nike dropped this ad after Jokic winning a championship and let me tell you it was so accurate <laughs> is. It was perfect because Jokic is such a unique character. And after the game, Malik Andrews sat down with Nikola Jokic and noticed something was off. I gotta tell you, I've done a couple of these finals MVP interviews. You're the first one to come in without the, the trophy. 
Where is it? I really don't know. This man is something, but ultimately the MVP trophy was found. He was at the parade. He was holding it, showboating around, waving to the fans, hanging out with his kid, family. Like, I don't know. He's such an interesting guy. All in all, he's one of the rarest superstars I think we've ever seen. He truly knows that there's no I in team, and he believes that there's more to winning than just being good at basketball. And to reinforce that, in 2016, he said this. The game is more important than your name. I just love that. It's just so accurate. And Jokic has been blessed with something very rare in the NBA. Stability. Coaching in the NBA is an increasingly very cutthroat career. With long-term loyalty near impossible to find, the Nuggets have gone against that trend since hiring Mike Malone. Now, the league's fourth longest tenured coach, only behind Greg Popovich, Eric Spolster, and Steve Kerr, and has rewarded the franchise with his first ever NBA championship win. And he's also had his running mate in Jamal Murray his basically his entire career. And here's Jokic's thought thoughts on the consistency being with those guys because i really i really trust those guys and i think that's the most important thing i think that's how the winning is done jamal was injured he thought he's gonna get trade uh, he was playing bad this and that media talking about him this and that but i think he proved himself that he can lead a championship team their success as a team wasn't all sunshines and rainbows though jamal murray had several setbacks Jokic wasn't the vocal leader he needed to be and maybe a little passive at times but ultimately they put it all together for a history historic win and Jokic explains what it takes in his mind to be a champion and the journey all the way to a championship if you want to be a successful you need a couple of years you need to be a bad then you need to be the good then you need to when you're good you need to fail and then when you fail you're going to figure it out you know i think the experience is something that is not what happened to you is what you're going to do with that what happened to you yes jamal was injured yes we we lose the first round or second round in the playoff i don't even remember there is a process that you need to you need to there is a step that you need to fill and it's it's a it's not a it's not a there is no shortcut it's a journey the entire Jokic experience to me is just so interesting because the man truly loves basketball but it isn't everything to him and he went as far to say basketball is not the main thing in my life it's just something i'm good at the statement really embodies what type of person and leader and basketball player Nikola Jokic is whether he likes it or not he's a superstar basketball player and arguably is the best player in the nba even with his love for horses